Alright guys, my name is Ghost by Ghoul. Welcome back. If you've seen one of my other videos, um, I welcome you. So anyways, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, clear Crisis Dungeon Macro Reactor 1 hard with S plus rank. I believe you pretty much just need lightning um, element and uh, one specific type of sigil. I already made a party for this before, so I'm going to go uh, begin this because apparently I didn't. Yes. Start. Uh, I already did all the other quests except for this one because I didn't have enough dungeon keys for the week. So here we are. We're coming back to it. We got to do the hard one, not the normal one, or this will not count. It says I don't have any rare chests, but I swear that's a bug. I have definitely got them. Regardless, I'll keep my eye open just in case. Um, so you want to look in here anytime before you enter any crisis dungeon. You see all the enemies here weak to lightning. You'll get a little bit of water. I think there's a few um, pop-up uh, mobs that are also weak to water, so that might be something you want to throw on the side if you have enough materia slots. Um, and X. So the main focus is going to be lighting and X. I believe I already made a party for it. The macro reactor. Uh, let me go in here. So I just did uh, Lapena Le Coast. I spelled it wrong there. But uh, if you want to see how to do that one for the Shiva quest, I made a video on that as well. Uh, take a look. So, we're gonna go over to, um, this one called again, Macro Reactor 1. Okay. So, I've got a lot of Lightning and X Sigils. This guy doesn't, oh, he does, uh, Cloud does have X he, on his Buster Sword. Okay, that'll cost four ATB gauges, but with these guys only using three for it, uh, that should be fine. Um, it, it'll do more damage too, so that's nice. So yeah, Lightning and X. I've already got my team set up. Uh, you usually want a healer. Uh, Aerith is pretty well the best one, but you don't have to. You could always use that. Or e even uh, Red 13 has got some uh, regen and whatnot too. But uh, let's see. It should be good. I pretty much just got this on Cephi because it's overboosted and it gets a lot of magic attack. Uh, Alright. Otherwise, yeah, it should all be good. Um... I've just got the level 1 regular um, Thunder Lance from Rama, and uh, that should be fine. I don't have any nodes on it. It's pretty strong. Uh, so, alright, here we go. I'm going to show you the S plus route here. Now, I haven't done this in a week or two, so I don't really remember exactly which boss is where. But I'm just going to give you a basic rundown so you can see what to do and or what not to do. And again, I mentioned this in my last video too, but... Uh, if you don't get S+, plus, you kind of just want to work with your same equipment, make all your equipment better. If you've got a weapon to level 50, 60, or 70, uh, improve it as much as you can, maybe up to 80 before you re-enter, and or your Materia too. If you've got your Materia that maxes out at level 5, and it's only level 3 or 4 or less, you get it to level 5. If you've got Materia that maxes out at level 10, and it's less, just max it out before you come back. This guy's weak to water, but I don't have any water equipped. Uh, so we're just gonna thunder him right up here. Um, I could use this, but I'm not going to. We're just gonna take him out as quick as we can before he gets his first hit in. Which is happening. That's, that's good. Um, because my guys are a little stronger than what these dungeons recommend, I'm probably gonna coast right through these. Uh, so. But I, I think I mentioned this in my last video too. Uh, you can totally be free to play and do this too. I'm just giving you guys a general rundown on what to do and or what not to do so like this is something i wouldn't do because um only one out of my three guys are physical attack here uh sephiroth and Aerith are focusing mainly on magic whereas cloud is physical so doing this is only really going to benefit cloud uh whereas magic attack is going to benefit two out of my three people so i'd ra i prefer to go for magic attack in a party like this it doesn't hurt to give cloud a little bit of something sometimes maybe especially if you need him specifically for one specific fight uh, but this is gonna be that's gonna benefit two out of my three people rather than one out of three people and that's just a better number so Again in these you want to collect all the items, but you don't want to use any or use very few If you need to use an item, I'd say go for it, but uh, you shouldn't need to on these ones unless you're just starting out uh, Let's see here and don't let what I'm saying scare you from doing him if you're a newer player. Uh, you want to use all your Crisis Dungeon keys before the next week uh, resets every time uh, to get the most out of all your dungeon keys. So go 
like if you think you can't just do it yet um but you have the equipment and stuff give it a shot anyway if you, if you get a c rank you're gonna get some prizes you can come back and get an s plus rank later um it like or on another week if you have to you're constantly gonna get stronger if you keep playing the game so uh this is gonna be the alternate route here i already know this map um so i'm gonna take this route first okay just make sure to use all your dungeon keys every week uh you might want to wait until one of the last few days in the week as you're gonna be stronger every day right so Oh, he's gonna stop. He's gonna be a physical move. You're gonna want to hit defense to this. All right, now you can go back. The uh, air field and defense too. That was perfect timing. Uh, I'm just gonna keep hitting lightning, even though it's accidental, because he's gonna break anyways. There we go. Toasted. Salt him. All right. <clears throat> Threw him in the forge. Alright. Death machine, more like scrap metal. Okay. Uh more magic attack. Yep. Depending on your team setup, if you've got two two physical users, you're gonna wanna go for the physical one. In fact, actually now that I'm seeing this with the two physical up tens and magic attack minus downs, you might be better off with a more physical lightning team for this, if you can um find an optimal setup for that. That might be a better option. Defense. I just realized my headset wasn't in for this and I've been listening to it out loud. Hopefully the recording comes through alright. I'll fix that for next video. I've got to scrap this, I've got to scrap it. You know, it is what it is. Alright, so we worked up our limit gauges. Only one person left and she should have that uh, for her next battle. I think it was Eris who doesn't have the limit yet. Probably Rama to summon there. Okay. Uh, magic attack up 10. There we go. Okay, so this kind of defies what I was saying about the physical attack up. Magic attack down. Trance ability. Uh, we're going to take the magic attack up and fizz down at this point. Cloud is fine to take the loss. To take the hit here. Not a big deal. Um, okay. There's got to be something over here. Alright, see that was a rare chest. Don't miss the rare chests. You don't want to have to come back if you don't have to. Like I'm having to do. <laughs> okay. We're just going to go right into it. Two of these stompers. Death machines. Okay. Frenzied sand. Dara. Oh no. I would have liked to not only switch to defense mode there, but also try to get my limits in. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We don't need our limits. Let's just heal. Heal, heal before he dies. Nice. Let's get this in too. Ooh, heavy hit. Heavy hit. We're gonna go into the final fight and just drop all our limits. There's only one fight left here. We're gonna make quick work of the final person. The final symbol boss. Okay. Oh, those are custom sweepers, not death machines. Death machines are the purple ones. Okay. Magic attack. Yep. Let's see here. Close. Symbol enemy. Just this guy left. He's, he's weak to wind too. I didn't bring any wind, but you don't need it. We've got lightning and X. It's not like he switches weaknesses back and forth like some bosses might. Mm. Okay, a little mob battle. No biggie, no biggie. You can use these mob battles to your advantage to heal or fill up your limit gauges. Um, you can switch back and forth between your people and just make sure they do weak moves like uh, ruin or blows when they don't need to and stuff. 
just to like make the battle last longer and fill your gauges. The more attacks they do, the faster the gauge um, will fill. I've noticed, and I'm not sure if this is true, but if I'm using Aerith and I'm just spamming um, heals with her, everyone else's limits and uh, gauge gauges will fill, and she she'll be a little behind because she's not attacking as often. So that's something I noticed, but uh, I'm not actually certain if that for sure plays an effect or not. Um, or what's my health like? Yeah, I'm going to go in this and just limit break everybody. Uh, I'm not going to use any items, but if you, by this point, you should have all these items. And uh, keep in mind, the less items used, the better. So, for example, okay, I can't really give the exa a visual example here, but sometimes you'll get, like, ethers and super eth ethers, or whatever they're called. And uh, they'll raise your ATB gauge by six or more, or seven, I think. You'll, if you use one of those instead of an ether, that's the same amount of items used for way more so, uh, ATP gauge. Or if you have one tent, it's so much better to use one tent to heal all three people than it is to use three supplements and or three potions or six items to do all of them, right? So less items, the better, keep that in mind. Uh, if you have to use items, you can probably still get S plus rank with a few items in, but I'm not risking it. Uh, the more attack you do, the higher score you get too. So uh, sometimes the cocktails to increase your elemental attack is worth it for specific bosses. And this I'm not going to bother. I'm going to go straight into Frenzied Stance here. And then get them. Hopefully this is going to be worth it. Uh, maybe this guy could have been Night Bloomed by Aerith to lower their def his defense too. Maybe. Probably. And that's probably something they should have done. I'm going to skip um, Rama's Thunder Lance here. Okay, that's a lot of damage, but he's still going to be alive. Push defense. I think I got it just in time. We're going to take a bit of a hit here, but it's not going to be too bad. And he's going to be dead any second now. Got some health in to make sure we're at the best health we could be. That's got to be S+. Plus. And again, this was the quest to get it for Hellfire, guys. So I'm going to go get that right now, too. Um, but that's how to S+, plus this, uh, or general... Um, outlook on it. Obviously, my guys are a little stronger than uh, what you could be. Uh, I already had these S plus before, but I didn't have the Ifrit and the Shiva quests active when I did them, and I ran out of Crisis Dungeon Key, so I couldn't come back and get them all week long, and I had to wait until this week. Uh, so, if you are S plusing these, make sure to have the Ifrit and or Shiva quests active. Well, you can't have them both active at once, but make sure to have them active uh, when you do them so you don't have to come back and S plus it a second time like I did because you really don't get much more out of it. I have to waste a whole second Crisis Dungeon Key just to get this, but I figured I may as well make uh, a little video out of it too. So, alright. Now, just for the sake of it, just to finish off the video here, we're gonna go into our summons. And I'm really excited about this uh, because this move is OP. All right, here we go. Now, Hellfire, this should be the only quest I had to do. Again, Clear Crisis Dungeon Mac Reactor 1 with hard rank or S+. Plus. Uh, S+, plus. I'm obtaining it. Let's go, Hellfire. Hellfire! Sweet. Okay, now I'm going to get it. beautiful and I have all, so many memories because I was grinding the uh, Ifrit co-ops with people oh man that was a lot of fun and uh, <clears throat> yeah I got a lot of that because uh, I got both Ifrit weapons to uh, plus 20 <laughs> grinding with a bunch of pros um, okay so there's that and now that that's done just to get this going in the background, because you might as well not go empty-handed, you know what I mean? You can go into your solos and your uh, your co-ops and whatnot, and you might as well be doing something. So I'm going to begin this. I haven't started it yet. Um, but yeah, now that this is uh, in place, while I do my solos and my co-ops today and everything else I'm going to be doing, uh, all, the, all this stuff is going to be... Uh, being worked on. Okay guys, so uh, thank you for coming by. My name is Ghost by Ghoul. Give me a follow, give me a subscription. Uh,
YouTube subscription. If you can, if you will, please. Uh, give me a like. Give me a dislike if you didn't like it. <laughs> I don't mind. And uh, go give me a follow on Twitch, where I go live as often as I want to. Uh, sometimes often, sometimes once every week or two. So, alright. Here I am, and um, here I go. Take care.